We continue now at the top of Daf Lamed Chesam and Aleph and Meseches Bab Metziah. This is Bab Metziah, Daf 38a. And the previous time of the Gemara said that if Rabbi Yossi had said his halacha only in a case where, let's say, you have a deposit, one deposit was of a large vessel, the other deposit was of a small vessel, and the person doesn't remember who gave him the large vessel and who gave him the small vessel. If Rabbi Yossi only said over there that the entire thing is Yehemunach, so I would say maybe only over there the whole thing is Yehemunach because you don't want to break the larger vessel. But let's say you have a situation where one person deposits 200 and another person deposits 100 and he's not sure. So maybe over there Rabbi Yossi would agree with the Rabbanan that you would give 100 to each person and then only 100 would remain Yehemunach. That's what the Gemara suggested on the previous summer. But the Gemara now says, why would we ever have thought to make a distinction in, within Rabbi Yossi's opinion between a case where there's two vessels or a case where, where there's a deposit of 200 zuz and 100 zuz? Rabbi Yossi gives his reason. He says that his reason is because he wants the Ramah, he wants the swindler to lose out, and therefore the whole thing is Yehemunach. So we would never make any distinctions between cases. Rashi explains, Rabbi Yossi gives his reason. It's because because of Hefzer Haramai, the cave in the time of Bahachi, and since that's his reason, Mali Kli, Mali Mos, what difference would it be to me if it's a vessel, or what difference would it be to me if it's money? Why would I even think that by money he would admit to the Rabbonin? So we're back to our question. Why do we even need to say within Rabbi Yossi, why do we even need to say the case of money? It should be obvious because he gives his reason. It's because of Hefzer Haramai. And the Gemara therefore says, Ella, you're right. Ella, rather, Actually, the reason why we have two cases in the Mishnah is really all for the Rabbonin. Both cases are for the Rabbonin, meaning the case of the money and the case of the vessels where we say, according to the Rabbonin, you say you give a hundred to each and you let the hundred Yehemunach according to the Rabbanan you break the larger vessel you give a small vessel so to speak to each and you let you let the rest be Yehemunach they're both needed for the Rabbanan Velozu Avzu Katani and the way the Mishnah set up it's Lozu not only this but Avzu even in this case the Rabbanan would say that Rashi explains the Rabbanan it's Rechlashmin and Milsa the Rabbanan Taninu Travayu were teaching us a Chiddush according to the Rabbanan V'itana Kalim Beresha now if the Kalim would have been the first case in the Mishnah where you're breaking the vessel Hachanami Delo you're right, we wouldn't have had to have the case of money. It's then obvious if you're willing to break a vessel and give each person a small vessel and then let the rest of you heimunach. So certainly you're going to give each one a hundred and let the hundred be, let the remaining hundred be heimunach. Aval hashta the tani most beresha, but since the Mishnah had money as its first case, so tana kalim lemeimar, so that's why we also have a case of vessels to say lozubilvad, not only in this case of money, to let up say where there's no loss, the shviras kli, because you're not breaking a vessel. El avzu dik up say the degadol amrin hachi. But even in this case, in the second case of the Mishnah, where there's a loss of the larger vessel, even in that later case of the Mishnah, we would say the same halacha. And the Gemara continues with the Mishnah, Hamafkid Peros Eitzel Chaver, if somebody deposits fruits by his friend, Afilo Heinavud, and even if they are being destroyed, Lo Yiga Ben, he shouldn't touch them. Rabbi Shem Ben Gamliel, Rabbi Shem Ben Gamliel says, No, Mochren Bifnei Bezin, he should sell them in front of the court, Mimnei Shu Kameshev, Aveda Labaylim, because it's as if he's returning a lost object to the owners, meaning to say if he keeps it, he allows it to get destroyed. It's a loss for the owners. It's better that he should sell it and that way retain the value, retain the money. Rashi says, Avud and Al Yedei Achborim or Rekofen, let's say they're being being destroyed either through mice or they're spoiling. Lo yigaba, and he shouldn't touch them. Lo and he shouldn't sell them. That's the Tanakama's opinion. The time of the Gemara. The reason is going to be explained in the Gemara. And the Gemara says, my time, what is the reason? Meaning to say again, what is the reason why the person shouldn't touch them, even if they're avudin, even if they are being destroyed? And we have a machlokas amoraim on this issue. Amar of Kahana, Rav Kahana says, Adam wrote a bekav shalo, a person would prefer one kav of his, mitisha kav shel chaver, from nine kav of his friend. Meaning, even if there is a loss over here, but the person prefers his own product, better not to sell it. That's Rav Kahana's understanding. For Rav Nachman bar Yitzchok, Amar Rav Nachman bar Yitzchok says a different explanation. Chayshinan shema asan hamafkid we're concerned maybe the mafkid, which is really the owner, we're afraid the owner has taken these fruits and he's designated them as truma and meiser on some other location, meaning fruits that he has in some other location. Now, if you're going to go ahead and sell them, the person you're selling them to is not going to be aware that they are truma and meiser. And Rashi explains, Kav Shalom, his one Kav is Chaviva Olav Al Yidei Sha'amal Ben. It's more beloved to him because he worked on that. The Kav Shei Sharlo Mehem, and one Kav that remains from them, who wrote that so he prefers that, Mitisha Kav and Shalacherim from nine Kavs of others, Sheikach Bidmein, which essentially he'll get with the money, Im Yimcharim if he sells them. And then the second opinion of Rav Nachman Bar Yitzchak is Chashinan, we're concerned that maybe it's really true and Meiser, and in that case, Vaasr Lachil Lazarim, it would be also to give it to be as food for somebody who's not a Kohen. 
And the Gemara continues, Meisve, we have a question from the following, Brisa, Hamafkid Peros Eitzel Chavero, somebody deposits produce by his friend, Harezel lo Yiga Bohen, he should not touch them. Lefikoch, therefore, Balabayis Osa Oson, Trumo Meisra, Makam Acher, therefore the owner is allowed to designate them as Truman Meiser on fruits in some other location, meaning to say since the owner does not have to worry about the fact that the person is going to sell it, the owner is allowed to designate it as Truma and Meiser. And the Gemara says, Bishlam al Now this price makes sense according to Rav Kahana, who says that the reason why you can't sell it is because a person prefers his kav over nine kav of his friend. So hainu de katani lafichach. That's why it says therefore, because that's a second idea. Number one, don't touch them. That's because a person prefers his own stuff. And therefore, since you're not touching them, therefore the Balabais is allowed to make them truman meiser. El alur of Nachman bar Yitzchak. But according to Rav Nachman bar Yitzchak, the whole reason you're not allowed to sell it is because we're concerned that he's making it truman and meiser. My lafichach. So what's the therefore? It's not there. Therefore, that's actually the reason why you're not supposed to sell in the first place. And the Gemara says, no, hachi kamar. The Gemara says, Rav Nachman Rav Yitzchak will understand the Brisa, that this is what the Brisa is saying. Hashda do'am Rabbanon lo nizven. Now that the Rabbanon said that you can sell it, dechashinan, because we do have a concern that he made a truman meiser, lefikach therefore, balabais osos on truman meiser. There is no problem with the balabais actually making a truman meiser, al mokam achar, and produce that's in another location, that essentially becomes not a problem because of the fact that it was a concern in the first place. Since it was a concern and we essentially took a precaution and said you can't sell it for that reason, therefore it actually is no longer a concern, and it is fine for the Balabais to designate it as Truma and Meiser. And Rashi explains, Lefikoch, therefore, Hoel v'osr lemochron mishum derotza adam mekav shalo, this of course would be according to Rav Kahana, since it's prohibited to sell it because a person prefers his kav, so harehen beches kas kayom, now we can assume that that produce is intact, that it's around, umutr balabais lasos and truma meiser al peris sheyesh lo babeso, and therefore the balabais would be allowed to designate that as truma and meiser on fruits that he has in his house, but again it's problematic according to Rav Nachum Rav Yitzchak, my lefikoch, what's the therefore, isr mechira mishum hoho, actually the prohibition to sell it is because of this reason. So therefore, why is the Tana saying that the reason why you're allowed to make it Truma and Meiser is because of the fact that it's prohibited to sell it? And the Gemara says, well, you could still interpret it that way. Now that the Rabbanon say you can sell it because of the concern, that maybe the Mafkin made a Truma, therefore we can presume that it wasn't sold, and therefore the Balabais could in fact designate it as Truma and Meiser. And the Gemara continues, Amar Rabba Bar Barchan, Amar Rabbi Yochanan, Rabba Bar Barchan says that Rabbi Yochanan says, Machlokas, the Machlokas in our Mishnah, whether or not you can sell the produce, that's Bechdei Chisron, and that's if it's deteriorating at the normal rate. Aval Yosem Bechdei Chisron, but if it's deteriorating at a faster than normal rate, it's more of a loss already for the original owner. So then Divrei HaKol Mochon Bebezin. Then everybody agrees that certainly the Shomer is allowed to sell the produce in Bezdin. And the Gemara says, Ad Rav Nachman Bar Yitzchak Vadei Pligan. Rav Nachman Bar Yitzchak, the statement of Rav Yochanan is certainly arguing. Because again, Rav Nachman Bar Yitzchak said the reason why you can't sell the produce is because there's a concern that the produce was designated as Truman Meiser, and that would be a concern regardless of the rate of deterioration. So certainly, Rav Nachman Bar Yitzchak would always say that it's a problem to sell it according to the Tanakam of our Mishnah. But the question is, Ad Rav Kahana Mi Leima Pliga, do we have to say that it's arguing Rav Kahana? Rav Kahana again said the reason why the Shomer doesn't sell the produce is because a person prefers his one kav over nine kav so maybe he agrees that if it's yos or mechdei chesronen maybe Rav Kahana would agree that the Shomer does sell the produce and the Gemara says indeed that's the case ki kamar Rav Kahana bechdei chesronen kamar Rav Kahana's reason was specifically set, stated in a situation where it's deteriorating at the standard rate in that situation Rav Kahana says better not to sell it but if it's deteriorating at a faster than normal rate then Rav Kahana would admit that the Shomer does sell the produce but the Gemara continues, But the way Rav Kahana phrased it was that a person wants his one kav over nine kav of his friend, that's essentially a one to nine ratio, that actually is more than the standard rate of deterioration. So how could we say that Rav Kahana is only talking about a situation of the standard rate of deterioration? And the Gemara just says, Guzma The Gemara says, that was just like an exaggeration. That's not exactly what Rav Kahana means. Rav Kahana just meant to say, if it's a normal rate of, a, of deterioration, a person would prefer his own produce. But again, it would not apply if it's deteriorating faster than normal. And Rashi explains, Machlokas de Masnis and the Machlokas in our Mishnah Bechdei Chisron, and that's if it's the normal rate of deterioration. Kederach Sharetzvu is like other grains, like they normally deteriorate. Kemosh HaMaforsh B'Mishnah Zeno, as will be explained in our Mishnah later on, Lachitin Vila Oris, Tishach HaTzai Kabin Lakor. The Gemara later on has the exact amounts in terms of numbers, what is standard deterioration. Avalam Avud and Yosem Bechdei Chisron, but if it's more than normal, Afilu Rabbonon Modu Diyim Echerim Bebezin, even the Rabbonon would admit that it is sold in Bezdin. 
And the Gemara then said that on Rav Nachman, Rabbi Yitzchak, Rabbi Yochanan is certainly arguing. Vaday pligahad Rabbi Yochanan. Certainly, Rabbi Yochanan is arguing on Rav Nachman, Rabbi Yitzchak. That's not a question. The equal amecha shleshem ha'asan balei and truma because if there actually is a concern that maybe the owners made it into truma, afilo biyozer mechdei chisron and ami aser lemizvinu. So then, even if it would be deteriorating faster than the normal rate, it would be prohibited to sell it. But mi leim a pliga do we do we have to say that it's arguing on Rav Kahana? Davka Amar Rav Kahana shem tisha kaben hein noach lo. Was he saying a one to nine ratio specifically? And even in that situation, the person prefers his own, he shouldn't sell them. And that's even if it's more than the standard rate of deterioration. And in that case, the Rav Kahana would actually be arguing on Rav Yochanan. Maybe he wasn't, he wasn't specifically saying that it's nine kaven. It just means that he would be okay to lose a little bit if it's his own produce that he's keeping. Really, he just means that it's a normal rate of deterioration and nothing more than that. And then the Gemara said, no, that is what he means. Guzma svas yeser. He was just employing a guzma, essentially a language of exaggeration, but he did not mean that to be taken literally. And the Gemara continues, Meisve, we have a question from the following Brisa. This is a question on Rav Yochanan. It said in the Brisa above, Lefikach balabais osos on truma u maiser al makam acher. Therefore, the balabais is allowed to designate this produce as truma and maiser on produce that he has in another location. It means to say, since we know that even if it's deteriorating, the person, the Shomer, is not going to sell the produce, therefore the balabais is allowed to designate that produce as truma and maiser. Now, the problem is, according to Rav Yochanan, it is possible that the Shomer sold the produce. Let's say it was deteriorating rating at a faster than normal rate. And so therefore, Velechosh, so therefore the Balabai should be concerned. Deal Mahavilu Yosur Mikhde Chisron, and maybe it deteriorated faster than the normal rate. Vizavninu and the Shomer actually sold the produce, and then it's not really Truman Meister, it might have been consumed already. The Ka'achel Tevalim, and therefore he's going to be eating Tevil because the Truman Meister that he that he separated, that he designated rather, is not going to be effective. And the Gemara says to that, the reason why the Balabai doesn't need to be concerned with that is because Yosur Mikhde Chisron and Loshriach the fact that it would deteriorate at faster than the normal rate, the normal rate is not common. He doesn't have to be concerned with that eventuality, and therefore he is allowed to designate it as Truma and Meiser. But the Gemara then says, okay, but v'imishtachi, but let's say it does happen. Meaning to say, again, the Balabais made a Truma and Meiser, because the Balabais doesn't have to be concerned with that eventuality, but let's say it actually did happen. It's deteriorating at faster than the normal rate. So Meiser, then what are you going to say? Mizavninan luhu, you're going to say that the Shomer is supposed to sell the produce. But how could he sell the produce? Balabais, Truma Meister, Al Makam Acher. We should now have the concern the other way that maybe the Balabais designated as Truma and Meister for, for, for produce he had at a different location, and now you're essentially selling Truma and Meister to non Kohanim. And the Gemara says to that, you're right, but we, what it means is as follows Kimizavnina Nami, even when we're allowing the Shomer, we're, we're, when we're telling the Shomer to sell the produce, that is being sold like Kohanim Bidme Truma. It's actually being sold specifically to, to Kohanim at the value that Truma normally sells. Mizavnina Lehu, that's how he's selling it to them and therefore it's not really a concern because even if it is Truman Meiser it's not a, it's not a problem if he's selling it to the Kohanim. And the Gemara continues but one second according to that if you're saying that the sale that we're talking about in a situation where it's deteriorating faster than normal as you're selling it to Kohanim. So now let's go back to Rav Nachum Bar Yitzchak. According, according to Rav Nachum Bar Yitzchak the reason why you're not supposed to sell the produce is because we're afraid maybe the Balabais made it maybe he designated it as Truman Meiser. So according to him the same thing. According to Rav Nachum According to Rav Nachman Bar Yitzchak, also Nezavninu lekohanim bidme truma. Well, let it, let's just sell it to kohanim at the value that truma sells at, and you should say the exact same thing. There's really then no difference between Rav Nachman Bar Yitzchak and what we're essentially saying within Rav Yochanan over here that you you can sell it. We should say that Rav Nachman Bar Yitzchak really agrees with what Rav Yochanan says. And the Gemara responds, Baha Pligi, it's in the following that Rav Nachman Bar Yitzchak and Rav Bar Rachana Am Rav Yochanan argue. The Rav Bar Rachana suffer because Rav Bar Rachana holds Yosur Mechdei Chisron and Loshriach Midi that if for it to deteriorate at a faster than normal rate, that's not common at all. Vechi Mishtakach Lekamehu to have a Yosur Mechdei Chisron and if it would happen, it would happen much later in the process that it would deteriorate at that faster rate. It would take a long time for that to happen. And he Ovid Lu Balabai is Truma Umaisra Al Makam Acher Mekamei to have a Luhu Yosur 
And if the Balabais actually did designate this produce as Truman Maisaran produce that he has in another location, that would have happened earlier, that would have happened already. And so therefore, Hilkach, therefore, Ki Havil Hu Yosem Mechtei if it does deteriorate at a faster than the normal rate, which happens already further along in the process, if it's Truman Meiser, it's already been made Truman Meiser before, so Nizav Nino Lekohanim bit made Truman. So at that point in time, if it's again losing that much value, the Shomer sells it to the Kohanim at the value of Truma. However, Rav Nachmar Yitzchak Sav, Rav Nachmar Yitzchak holds, Yezer Mechdei Chesronen Mishkach Shchiach, that for it to deteriorate at a faster than normal rate is something that is common. V'chi Havelehu La'alterhu De Havelehu, and if it does happen, it could happen immediately, it could happen very quickly. And so therefore, it can happen so early in the process, V'yamret Nizav Nino, and if you're going to say to sell it, Zimnen Dekadimu Mizav and Lehu, it could be, they'll end up selling it before the Balabais even made it Truman Meiser. And that could be a real problem. V'chi Yovid Lehu Balabais Truman Umeiser, and if the Balabais then does Designated as Truma as Truma Meiser, Al Makam Achar and fruits that he has in another place, Lo Yada Dezavna. He doesn't know. He doesn't know that it's already been sold. The Kaachel Tvalim, and therefore he's eating Tevel. And that's why Rav Nachman Yitzchok essentially says it's impossible to sell this, even in a situation where where it would be deteriorating at a faster than normal rate. We cannot allow the sale because again the Balabais might make a Truman Meiser, and maybe he'll make a Truman Meiser after the sale, which of course would be problematic because then at that point in time the produce is gone. It's not going to be Truman Meiser at that point in time anymore. It's not going to be effective and he'll be eating Tevel. That's why Rav Nachman Yitzchak would argue on Rav Bar Barchano Amr Rav Yochanan. And the Gemara continues, Mesra, we have a question on Rav Yochanan from the following Bryce. Somebody deposits produce by his friend, Vierkivo, and it rots, Yayin Vehichmitz. If he deposits wine, it becomes vinegar, Shemen Vehivish, Dvash Vehidvish, let's say oil that becomes putrefied, honey that becomes spoiled. Any of these situations, we have the same machlokis as we had in our Mishnah. Rabbi Meir says the person should not touch them, you shouldn't sell that produce, that wine, etc. You do create a solution over over here, and he does sell them in Bezdin. And the Brisa continues, when he does sell them, he should sell them to other people. He shouldn't sell it to himself because then we're afraid already people will suspect that he's selling it at a much cheaper rate. Kayotze, the Brisa says, similarly, let's say you have people who give out tzedakah, they give out money to the poor. If they can't find poor people to distribute, they're concerned now that the copper coins are going to deteriorate. So they should exchange the copper coins for silver to other other people, the importantly asked when they shouldn't do the exchange to themselves. Again, we're afraid that there might be a suspicion that they're doing it at a rate that's beneficial to them. And similarly, Gaboy Tamchoy, that's Gaboyim who give out, give out Sadaka, but it's not money. What they're giving out is food to the poor. Bisman Shein Lemanim, at a time when they can't find poor people, the to distribute the food to, Mochrin Lachem, they should sell it to others. Again, the Ain Mochrin Laatzman, they don't sell it to themselves. And so the Gemara says, Katani Mihas, nevertheless, what does it say in this price? It says, Peros Vihar Kiva, if you have these fruits that rot, so there's a machlokas whether you sell them or not. So my love is it not? Even if they're rotting at a faster than the standard rate, apparently there is at least one tana. Rabbi Meir says, Lo ben, you don't touch them. That goes against Rabbi Yochanan. Rabbi Yochanan said that, said that everybody agrees that if it's yes or mechdei chesronen, you sell it. And the Gemara says, Lo no, mechdei chesronen. It could be the machlokas in this price is specifically when it's deteriorating at the standard rate. But the Gemara says, how can that be? V'hayayin v'hechmitz shemen v'hivish devash v'hidvish. But all of these cases is wine that becomes vinegar and shaman oil that becomes putrefied and honey that spoils all of those clay, all of those cases clearly the yesr mechdei chesrona ninu they're clearly where it's faster than the standard rate and still we have a machlokas we still have a mandarma that sells you don't sell that says you don't sell them and the gemara says no shani honey it's different by those items kevan to come come because once they've spoiled it actually stops it's not going to spoil any further it actually has got to its lowest point so to speak and that's why at this point in time there's still a mandarma that says it's not worth selling it because it's not it's not rotting any further. But the Gemara continues, Shemen Vehivish, but if you have oil that becomes putrefied, or Dvash Vehidvish, or you have honey that's spoiled, so what's that even useful for? How could you even sell it at all? Who's going to buy it for any purpose? And we will continue with this discussion in the next video on Daflamit Ches Amid Beis.